I'm Martin Nekas and I'm here from the Department of Mechanics from the Czech Technical University in Prague. Uh, I had here a presentation on robotics that we do in our lab. I talked about the uh, parallel kinematics, redundantly actuated parallel kinematics and, with, uh, and about the problem of controlling uh, structures that we, that we call the exosphere. It's uh, again redundantly actuated uh, parallel robotic structure. We try to either speak to the big guys. Uh, if they are not interested, then we try to uh, approach the smaller companies that sometimes are interested or not. At the moment we have, for example, cooperation with a company from uh, Ostrava that is uh, dealing uh, with this project on uh, cooperative robots. The idea is to create basically a robotic cell that would be suitable for milling aluminium plastics with sufficient accuracy, which is hard to do with standard robots. The idea is to do the, uh, the milling operation with coupled robots. So this is something that we do. Then another cooperation is, for example, with a company like Prano. That's the company that produces uh, uh, the key elements for for uh, key systems in the cars or house, houses. They try to develop some mechatronical solutions for for automobile industry. Uh, then, if I can properly recollect, there is also some cooperation with companies that uh, do uh, uh, acoustics. That is uh, uh, problematics when you have some materials like powders, sands, and you have containers, and inside of those containers, sometimes uh, when you open the opening at the bottom, the, the sand or this, this uh, powder-like compound doesn't come out of that opening. So they try to find out ways if they could through the acoustic emissions somehow uh, honk into these structures and let it loose again so this, these compounds can you know, continue to, to uh, be coming out of the opening. So generally uh, the, the projects are spanning from robotics to pure kind of mechanics and uh, I personally am more, most concerned with mechatronics, which basically robotics is a part of. Well, future of robotics, interesting question. Um, I think we should, we should differentiate between two kinds of robotics. We have this kind of industrial robotics that is uh, at the moment vastly deployed and already in the manufacturing process. And then we have this kind of robotics that is uh, like humanoids and these kind of robots. The, the future, we all see it. It's, uh, things are getting more interconnected. We have this nowadays starting this inter internet of things, which uh, as we know, robots can be helpful as well as they can be damaging. So when we think about robotic soldiers, you know, we will see what the future holds for us. It's scary at the same time, and uh, definitely there are going to be some positive benefits for human mankind. But let's be aware also of the negative parts.